What is up jammers? It is Kaylee here and welcome to the very first video of my new series called Kaylee Cool's Tutorials. And basically, if you guys didn't know, I basically posted a intro for my um, new series which is Kaylee Cool's Tutorials on um, Friday night and um, a lot of you saw it so I think most of you guys know that I'm doing a tutorial series and basically if you guys want more info, I'm going to talk about it. But anyway, um, so basically, the apps I'm going to be doing for these tutorials is Camtasia Studio 9, Photoshop, and After Effects. And those are the three apps I use for my editing. And um, yeah, so I thought that would be kind of cool to do because I have learned a lot <laughs> over the past two years I have done YouTube about editing. And um, so I want to share it with you guys because I've gotten really frustrated because sometimes I wish there were Animal Jam tutorials on these things. That's why I'm doing this is because I think a lot of Animal Jam YouTubers kind of want it to be an Animal Jam tutorial on how it's based. Because, I don't know, I find it easier when it's more Animal Jam related. Like when you're doing a certain effect or something like that that you want to learn about. I don't know why. I just think it's easier. And so I thought, hey, why not? you know do a tutorial series so yeah I'm going to basically be showing you guys some different effects I can do and different things you guys didn't know how to do on like Photoshop and Kinti Studio 9 After Effects etc so the first thing we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a glossy text in Photoshop so of course the things you need for this is you need Photoshop um, you can get a free trial for seven days or you can buy it, it's kind of expensive, it's like 20 bucks a month to get. So, um, I would, you know, just do the free trial. Or you can get cracks too that are on like YouTube, you can look them up. Um, you can do things like that, it's pretty simple. Um, but anyway, and um, yeah guys, so um, that's all you need to do. And then basically, you're going to go to create new right here. And then you're going to go ahead and go to a custom one. Okay, don't do the default Photoshop size or whatever. Make sure that this is pixels and this is pixels slash inch. The resolution can be as high as you want it to be. It really depends on how much space you have on your computer and how fast it is, how slow it is, etc. Because the bigger, the, the higher the resolution is, the bigger the, of the file it is. So you got to make sure that you have room for it. Um, and then the widest can be pretty much how big you want it to be. I do 1280 by 720 for the width and height. Um, it doesn't really matter that much but we're just gonna go with that and then the background color is just gonna be green. I don't... it can be any color you want. Just make sure it's not white or black. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and press create. Alright, so if you haven't already, go ahead and go through the little tools here and click the T. So if you're wondering what the T is, this is the text button. Um, you can just go ahead and press this and it'll come up with the text and then you're just gonna kind of go through the text that you want also if you're wondering Kaylee how do I get all those cool fonts that a lot of Animal Jam youtubers use well you can basically look up on YouTube Animal Jam fonts um, and there's tons of videos on how to get Animal Jam fonts and you can just look them up um, and you'll find them. It's really simple. Just install them on your computer or PC or whatever you have. And um, yeah, it's pretty simple. So just look that up on YouTube or even on Google and it'll come up. But yeah, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use, what's a good, um, I'm going to be using Crinks Decor, which is an Animal Jam font. And why I say Animal Jam font is because a lot of Animal Jam people use this. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one because it's simple. It's easy. So just go ahead and go to Color Picker, the text, and just go up here. Go ahead and click this. Um, you can do any color you want. I think I'm going to do a turquoise. Turquoise is my favorite color. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you guys really wanted to know that, but anyway... Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and type glossy is what I'm just going to do for now. Excuse the caps thing, by the way. It's a stupid thing I have on my computer. Excuse it. But anyway, so we have it right here. You can go ahead and size it up. Or if you want to make it easier, go ahead and click free transforming. You also can do control plus T or you can do command V or command T if you're on a Mac. Um, I'm not really sure what that is that much. I don't use Apple products, so I don't know. But anyway. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and size this up a little bit just so you guys can see it a bit better. And you're going to go ahead and go to blending options, okay? So there's tons of options you can do here. There's bevel and emboss, stroke, inner shadow, inner glow, satin, a color overlay, gradient overlay, gradient overlay, pattern overlay, outer glow, and drop shadow. So the, I'm, tr okay. If you're new to Photoshop and you're just using it, I know what you're thinking, thinking right now. You're probably freaking out and being like, what the heck is this, Kaylee? What am I doing? Trust me, I know how you feel. When I first did Photoshop, I freaked out. But I learned how to do it. I just kind of worked my way through it. So it's pretty simple. So stroke, I'm going to go ahead and do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the color that I already have. And then I'm going to do a little bit darker than what it is. Just so it makes it kind of look nice. And then I'm going to do an outer glow. If you're wondering, Kaylee, this isn't a glow. Well, usually it's spreaded, okay? So when it's not spread, it's glowy like this okay but when you want it to just be kind of like a stroke you just go like this and you do spread and then you just kind of you know size it to where you want it to be but yeah and then you can also do a gradient overlay if you want to really do that you can do that it looks kind of nice i think and yeah so then what you're gonna do um you're just like kaylee well where is the gloss well it's not here yet so there are two things you can do for this guys the first thing is you're going to go ahead and go to Gradient Overlay, alright? Also, if you're wondering um, what the little plus button is here, you can add another Gradient Overlay. So, say you already have like this, you can go ahead and add another one for this. Um, but yeah, so mine is already on here. I'm going to go ahead and just like reset this to default so you guys can kind of see what we're working with. Um, yeah, so just have it on normal for the blend mode. What you're going to do to make this glossy is you're going to go to angle, okay? Then it looks like this. You're just like, Haley, what the heck? Don't worry. Calm down. We are fine. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go like this. And it basically just needs to be however long this is, really. It's how long it needs to be. Kind of stretch it out, too, so it's not kind of cut off like this. You need to stretch it this way so it goes all the way. All right? And um, just kind of have it go wherever you'd like it to be I'm gonna have mine go right there and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and go like this because we want it to show still of course um, I'm going to change this to this and what you're gonna do you're just like Kaylee this isn't look glossy don't worry don't panic what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this make this white change this and make this black okay because the top it needs to be glossy not the bottom all right so then you're going to kind of just do it wherever you think it is. Don't do it like this because obviously that doesn't look glossy. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it about probably, I'm going to say about there because I think that looks just about right. And yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of a drop shadow here because I think it looks kind of nice. I'm going to kind of make it go down. And yeah, guys, here we have our glossy text. And it's just, it's very simple. Like I said, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the, in the comments description, something like that. Um, yeah, but this is all you have to do. It's very simple and it may not look super glossy here, but when you put it on a thumbnail or a banner, it's going to look a lot glossier than you think. And, um, yeah, so I think it looks very nice, um, as you can tell. And also, if you're wondering why sometimes it won't look very glossy, it usually can be because sometimes if you have too small of a text or something, say, I don't know, like this. Well, no, that actually looks fine. Um, uh, j -j 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 well, actually, it looks pretty good on all of these, but sometimes if you have a smaller text, the gloss doesn't show up as well. So if you're wondering, then it's fine. But here's the first way to do it. Now, I'm going to show you a second way that might be easier for some other people if this is too confusing for you. So let's go ahead and get into the second part. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and go on Google and you're going to search up circle transparent. All right. All right. So there's tons of circles here. As you can tell, go ahead and just pick one. It doesn't really matter what it is. It needs to be transparent, though. Also, if you're wondering how to um, this is just a little quick tip here. Um, if you're wondering how to put something on the on like your picture or something in Photoshop and you're confused and you're just like, Kaylee, how can I put something on there without having to download it? What you can do is you can just go ahead and go and 
go like this and just copy the image and that's all you have to do it's very simple and then you just go ahead and press Control shift v for max it's command v or something like that command alt v i don't know something like that sorry i don't know um but anyway um but you can just do that if you just want to paste it and you don't want to have to download the image um but just to let you know for transparent images it will not work you have to download them so basically just get any circle off the internet it's pretty dang simple um have it filled in and just go ahead and save the image and yeah so make sure it's transparent by the way too all right guys so i got my circle i'm gonna go ahead stretch it out by the way and go ahead and just put it wherever you want your gloss to be all right i'm gonna put mine right there and then first if like you know you did the glossy thing i did earlier go ahead and take that off um so it's not on there anymore and then we're going to go ahead and go to the circle and we're going to go and do a color overlay. Then you're going to make this white and you're going to do the opacity all the way up. Then we're going to go ahead and do the opacity a bit down and have it be about right there probably. And there you go, you have your gloss. And in my opinion, I think this looks a bit more glossy than the other thing does that we just did a while ago. Um, in my opinion, I use this quite a bit more than the other one. I think it's a bit simpler. Um, so for other people who find the other one more complicated, I probably tell you to do this. Um, but you can do either one. They're both pretty good. Um, and also, if you're wondering, like, Kaylee, why do we have this big, huge circle? Well, if you want to, you can go ahead and go to Eraser Tool. And you can just size this up and um, then just erase it. Uh, parts of it you know and um make sure you have the text in the right spot that you want it to be too by the way because if it's not then um it's gonna look weird because um then if you move the text it's not gonna be where the gloss is so if you went like this you're gonna have to make sure that the text is in the right spot but yeah so i mean this is what you can do you can erase it or what i do usually is I usually go here and I do free transform and I usually go like this and I stretch it out and I just kind of go right here wherever the text is usually on my thumbnail or banner or whatever and I stretch the circle out so it kind of gives the whole banner or thumbnail a glossy look so then you don't have to go through the text and have to do the you know glossy thing which if you want to it's totally fine but this is just like another way you can do it, which is what I usually do if I'm running out of time for a thumbnail. I just put a circle on it, call it good. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's basically how to do a glossy look on your text. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know if you have any trouble down below in the comments. You can let me know. And also suggest some things you think that would be helpful for me to put in my next tutorial video and tell me what else I should do. Like what, you know, effect you want to learn about or something in Photoshop or something in Camtasia Studio, whatever. Also, I'm only doing things in After Effects, Photoshop, and Camtasia Studio 9. I might do things in PicMonkey if you wanted a, you know, tutorial on PicMonkey. Because I used to use PicMonkey, but then I upgraded to Photoshop. And, um, yeah guys, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, make sure to leave a like if this helped you and yeah and like i said suggest your um next thing for my tutorial if you want to you know tell me what tutorial i should do next and yeah guys so thank you all so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys and god bless your day